Hey, so I just wanted to pop on and tell you something. I've been reading my Bible all day, and um, I've known this for a long time, or for a little while, and I just wanted to share it with you. Like, have you prayed over your marriage? And I don't mean, like, oh, I just picked whoever I wanted, or, you know, we, we wanted it to work out. I mean, before you get married, did you receive a name in your spirit to marry the said person? Like, God, who am I supposed to marry is your prayer. And then he'll he'll put a name in your spirit. And that's who you're supposed to marry. When I was five, I prayed. And mine was Aaron Carter. And I married him in New York years ago. And, um, you know, I had a back looking pump surgery. I forgot that I was married to Aaron Carter. I mean, they push too much anesthesia and back lifting pump. Back lifting medicine is high blood pressure medicine differently. It makes it go high. It doesn't, yeah. So, and then when your blood pressure's high, you can't remember anything anyway. So, anyway, I just, the main, the main point of this is pray over your marriage and make sure you heard the right name in your spirit. And if y'all are already married and you didn't receive that name, then you need to get a divorce. Because I know I've had a Bible before that said divorce is a sin, and it is. When you're married to the correct person, it's a sin. But when you're married to the wrong one, it's not a sin. He wants you to get that divorce. He wants you to have your happy marriage. He wants you to have your happy ending that he planned out for you. So, just you might want to check that tonight. If your marriage isn't exactly working out right, it might be because you're not married to the right person. So, pray about it and check. He can talk to you.